All right, we're here at the Wave. We're gonna go check it out for breakfast. We don't have a reservation, so we're gonna see if they'll take us as walk-in. Let's see if it works out. It's really nice. I like this little... This thing, though, makes it look like it's a sea... That in the name of Wave makes it look like it's a seafood restaurant. I would expect something called the Wave to be a seafood restaurant. Yay, they took us in. Okay, see, I do a buffet right because I get a little bit of something. Now, I did get two of the Eggs Benedict because I've never had and I'm going, okay, I'm going to be a jerk on that. Little sausage link, a little bit of the hash browns, a little bit of bacon. Try a little bit, go back, try a little bit, go back. That's the way to do a buffet. And then we have Gail. Oh, I did it wrong. She did it wrong because now your stuff is going to get cold. Yeah, but I'm not thinking about that issue. But then again, you don't have to go back and forth as much as I do. So, see. So, I, while we're going to be stuffing ourselves because it's buffet, I get exercise because I get up and go more. Yeah, that's, that's how I'm going to sell it. My first time having Eggs Benedict, and it is good. They had just enough run to the eggs. A little bit overcooked, Gail pointed out, because there was some uh, finished or, or some soft boiled, I guess, inside. However, ultimately, I thought it was very flavorful, enough lemon to give it a tang, but doesn't overpower the rest of the flavors. The pe pepper powder on top doesn't add anything. Uh, the sausage link is a sausage link, so nothing to report there. Overall, pretty damn good. Okay, this is ugly because I already dug in. This is an allergy, uh, what do they call it? Allergy free, whatever. Anyway, uh, they took the onions out and they brought me this spinach frittata. Gail got one that was about that big, and they brought this huge thing. I tasted it. There's too many bell peppers in it for me. <laughs> I feel so bad because I can't, I'm not going to be able to finish this. So I'm going to eat a little bit around it, you know, out of respect for the fact that they made it for me. But, you know, you like some things, you don't like some things. All right, second trip to the buffet. I got the grains and the gravies. I also got a deviled egg and smoked salmon just to give it a try. This is their country fried steak and, or country fried biscuit and gravy, whatever you want to call it, which I grew up with. This is my kind of food, so I'm looking forward to giving it a try. Then there's a little bit of their cheese grits with bacon in it and a little bit of their oatmeal with that app, uh, some sort of apple, what was it called? It's not chutney. Apple, cranberry, um, it's got quinoa on it. Can, quinoa? 
that um, little grain. Apple, apple and cranberry uh, mixed in. The, the chef actually said mix it in because that's what it was there for. It goes with it. So I'm going to give this a try. I did what I could on the omelet. But if I finish that, that's all I'm going to be having room for because yeah, I'm reaching the top of the tank already. If you find yourself at the Wave for breakfast, do not do this. Have the uh, she's right. There is canola in the uh, in the apple chutney, so enjoy it. Have a good time. The oatmeal is very bland, so if you need anything, put some cinnamon, put some sugar on that. But definitely have these two things separate. It just did not work together. The chef actually told me to put these together, and uh, it would be better. But no, no, I'm afraid not. It actually diluted the flavor of both. The next time I find myself at the Wave for breakfast, I'm going to load up on these cheesy grits with bacon and I'm holy Toledo, are they so creamy, so smooth. I have never had grits this smooth before. It was amazing and it was just the perfect mix. You could still taste the grits, but you still got a really good buttery bacon flavor. I've never had something like this before. It was so, so good. I want to go back like tomorrow just to have these. The biscuits was sausage gravy. Okay, the biscuit was a little bit rough, like uh, it had been sitting there for a little bit, and I would prefer a softer biscuit. That being said, this gravy was so good. Like I, I, I ate, I was like, "Wow, this is very flavorful." What is it though? It's there's, it's like a, I, I can't quite picture it. And here's the thing: my brain was having a field day with it because this tasted like a liquefied sausage patty. There is so much sausage in there, and it's from the patty, not from like a link or anything. It's so, so amazing. My mouth is watering thinking about it. It was very good. I would have preferred a more, uh, and I, I should do this next time, put a little more pepper on it, something to give a little heat. Otherwise, perfect. You want the good news or the bad news? Okay, let's start with the bad news because this is something you can't do anything about. You either like smoked sal salmon or you don't like smoked salmon. I don't like smoked salmon. I tried it. I was like, oh, okay, I'll try it. You know, blah, blah, get it out of my mouth. Um, on the other hand, I really did like that deviled egg. It's very simple. A little paprika, a little sour cream, and then, of course, you know, your deviled egg mix. And it tasted just fine. Not amazing. This is not something to go back for. It was just fine. Okay, for the final, the sweet lab, we have the tropical fruit parfait. We have the banana caramel parfait. We have a Mickey waffle already syruped up and ready to go. We have a sweet potato pancake with strawberry butter and a sweet potato pancake with apple ginger butter. Looking forward to it. And, of course, the last piece of bacon. Well, not for them, for me. And, uh, yeah, the end of all of this will give you a little review of the restaurant, the whole nine yards. The sweet potato pancake, they're pretty good. They do have a sweet potato flavor, and they still retain a good pancake consistency. It's not like you lose anything. And if you don't like the sweet potato flavor, though, you're a little out of luck. On that note, though, um, I don't need syrup so long as I've got that apple ginger butter, man. Holy Toledo, that was good. So very tasty, flavorful. I wanted it on everything except what I wanted the strawberry butter on. I didn't put syrup on this, as a matter of fact. I just enjoyed it with the butter itself. It's very creamy. It's got a nice strawberry flavor. It worked well with the sweet potato pancakes. As a matter of fact, I felt a little disappointed in the syrup on the Mickey waffle because it was just syrup. I ended up scraping off as much as I could and just put the butters on it. It was just better that way. The Mickey Mouse waffle, however, it's good, but sometimes it's a little thick, so it almost feels like it's not done. Yeah, it's just a little bit too much. Sometimes they can come out fluffy, but sometimes not so much. Uh, the caramel parfait, not a little bit off the top, uh, and the uh, banana was fine. The granola there is good. And then I dug in, I got myself a taste of the yogurt, and I was like, oh my god, this soured. Holy Toledo, it was so bad. And I almost threw up. It was that bad. And Gail goes, really? And she smiled it. No, no problem. And then she tasted it and she goes, no, that is, that's just the way that Greek yogurt tastes. And I was like, really? I, Cause I've never had it. I've never had it before. And I was looking, I got both of them because, oh, wow, these seems like they're going to be good. Uh, this is horrible. If you don't like the flavor of Greek yogurt is so, so sour. It really does taste like it just went bad. 
Um, this is sour with tropical fruit. The other one's sour with bananas. Both of them suck in my opinion, and I will never get them again. <laughs> but Gail was like, yeah, that's how it tastes. Don't worry. And uh, so, ooh, not good for me. Not good for me at all. The decor, as you can see, it it didn't thrill me. It really does look like it should be a seafood restaurant, and it isn't. But uh, it didn't thrill me. I thought it was nice. It's good. It's a cafeteria-feeling atmosphere, though. There's not much to it other than that. Ashley was our server, and she was amazing. Absolutely great. Uh, we we actually had a great time in, in this. The food is good. Uh, it, even though it's a cafeteria se setting, it was still a fine time, and we would definitely go back. We're looking forward to going back, as a matter of fact. So, yeah, I highly recommend The Wave. This is the restaurant that's at the bottom of the Contemporary Hotel. And we, I told her, oh, wow, we should eat the Contempo and then Chef Mickey's. That way we could do all comparison. What's the price point? Which is the best? And I asked her, what would you put as far as the best between uh, California Grill and this one? And she, we, we agreed. For the money, even though uh, it's more expensive, California Grill. <laughs> but this is still a good place. Did, have you eaten here? By all means, let me know in the comments below. What did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you eat for lunch, breakfast, or dinner? Put that down below also. If you like this video, by all means, click on one of the videos that are popping up here. And we've got other food reviews for you. Don't forget to click like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. Alrighty, and thank you very, very much for watching.